Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Score Prediction Show on the Talk BFC channel. We are here with Toffees TV. How you doing, man? How you doing, Baz? Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm good. Thanks for having me. It's uh, quite warm, but it's a uh, lovely sunny day, so I'm good. Very, very hot today. So thank you for taking the time to come onto the channel for the Score Prediction Show. Um, so first off, we've just got a couple of questions to ask, and then we're going to get into your score predictions for this game. So... First off, uh, you know, last time out at Goodison when both teams played, uh, the score was 2-1 to Burnley. Now, what do you think, obviously, going from that game, can you take from, you know, both sides, maybe the changes that both teams have made, coming into this one? Well, I think last time out, uh, obviously, he played at Goodison with no crowd. Really affected Everton. Everton have had the worst home record they've had for a number of years um, with no crowd. So, I think just the fact that the stadium will be full on Monday night will make a bit of a difference. Um, that being said, I think Burnley are in a stronger position than they were last season. Uh, always admired the job Sean Dice has done at Turf Moor. I think he's done a great job for Burnley in, in I'm not say, I wouldn't say difficult circumstances because he, he got Burnley up. He knew he knew the, the hand he was playing with, but he, I've always likened it to when David Moyes was Everton manager and we had no money. And he wheeled and dealed in the transfer market and he had his team well organised. And Dice has kind of done that. And it's always a, a real tough game against Burnley every time we play. Uh, and this one, I don't think will be any different. For Everton, obviously, we've moved out Carlo Ancelotti. Rafa Benitez is in now. Everton have brought in Damari Gray and Andros Townsend. And that pace has really has made a big difference so far this season playing on a counter-attack, really quick counter-attack and breaks, uh, scoring goals as well. So Everton are in a better position, I would say, than we were last season in terms of the balance of the team. Um, but then you could say that about Burnley as well. So I'm expecting a tough game on Monday night. Yeah, I think... Um, I mean, this wasn't a question that was wrote down, but Carlo Ancelotti, you know, leaving, bringing in Rafa Benitez, how is that all sort of... You know, are you happy about him, you know, being in charge? Obviously, former Liverpool manager as well. What is your take on Rafa Benitez, obviously, this early on in the season? He wouldn't have been my pick. There's, there's no question. There's no point in me sitting here going, oh, well, actually, I always wanted him. I didn't. <laughs> he wouldn't have been in my top five uh, for, for the next Everton manager. I have to say that. Uh, but that being said, once your manager comes in, you have to get behind him because what's the point in not? Uh, and I th I've been very impressed with the way he's done so far. Uh, had loads of good reports back about how hard he works on the training ground and uh, the fine margins he deals in. And the evidence on the pitch has, uh, has, has been really good. I mean, Everton have played four games, including the Carabao Cup, won three of them, drew one, uh, scored a couple of goals in, scored at least two goals in every game, um, having much more shots and creating chances than we did under Carlo Ancelotti. So it's a very small sample size, obviously four games. But it's been a really good start to the season. So, at the moment, uh, yeah, I'm quite content with how it's going under Rafa, even if he is an excellent film <laughs> manager. Uh, yeah. Um, and obviously, you touched on him just before, but the signing of Damari Gray seems to be a huge... I mean, he, he's really made an impact to Everton, to be fair, compared to, obviously, his other signings in the past. He's, he's, he's not very done... You know, I think he was at West Brom. He, he obviously didn't really do that well there. And he seems to he's be banging in goals for Everton. What, what do you make on Damari Gray in that signing? He's been brilliant. You know, 1.6 million from Bayer Leverkusen. They just turned 25 years of age. Uh, won the Premier League with Leicester. Um, Everton, Everton wanted him when he was at Birmingham where he came through um, and he went to Leicester and he was up and down at Leicester it was, he was in and out the side I think he's always been a player with a lot of potential but not able to be consistent enough where he commands a place in the team and so far he's come to you know at 1.6 million it's a no brainer for a, a lad who's 24, 25 uh, but he's, he's come in he's been brilliant for Everton so far really quick and direct scored in his last two Premier League games um, and he's been really positive so it, it's what Everton needed it's more about the balance of the side and having someone who's got mm. that pace mm. really helps us uh, on the counter attack you know Richarlison Dominic Calvert-Lewin both really quick and Damari Gray has added to that and Andros Townsend he was a free transfer who I think most Evertonians were probably stacked in the red when the link was first made with him um, but he's come in and done a really good job as well. So, so far, so good. 
Yeah, and you mentioned that sort of quick counter-attacking pace. I mean, obviously our defence isn't probably the quickest one in the Premier League. So, I mean, if you can get him behind, that'll be great. But for you, obviously, but I feel, yeah, it'll be a tough thing to do at the back. Obviously, it's two two different sort of playing styles at the back between Burnley and Everton. You know, Burnley sort of, you know, will contest you, will challenge you, but Everton are quite quick and they'll obviously try and look in on the the break on the counter, really play it through. So we'll we'll see how that really comes about on Monday. Um, yeah, a good start to the season for Everton. Two wins, one draw. Um, what I mean. I mean, it can't go wrong. But I, I, what do you feel about you know your playing style at the beginning of the season? How it's come well, and you know how how well you're doing so far. It's been, like I say, it's been a it's been a lot more attacking so far this season than what we saw. Certainly the second half of last season, um, we we went into almost trying to play a low block every game, which I know Burnley do really well. But we we just were, we were able to do it away. We won eleven away games last season. Only Man City won more away games than Everton last season. So we were good on the road, but at home we were dreadful in the second half of the season. We really were, and we we just couldn't get a balanced style of play. And I think that's the big thing Benitez has been able to do so far. Like I said before, it's a small sample size. Four games isn't a lot of games. But what he's been able to do so far is have a nice balance, and Everton have been really creative. I think that I'm really interested, actually, to see how we do against Burnley, because Burnley are a low block side so that a team who don't give you much space behind so it's going to be dead interesting because Everton's three the first three games we've played in the league have all been against attacking teams who come out so we were able to pick leads off we should have beat Leeds actually so in the end we so should have beat Brighton four or five we missed three really good chances at the end of the Brighton game so Southampton as well they were they come and had a go so teams who've come on to us we've been able to pick off quite easily it won't be the same with Burnley. It'll be a different type of test. So it's going to be really interesting to see how Everton actually cope with that. Um, and we'll have to be on our guard because we know that Burnley's front two are a handful. Maxwell, Corne coming in. We know we've played against them in the Europa League before. We know he's got talent. Uh, we know that Dwight McNeil's got a fantastic left foot. So there's a lot of challenges that Everton have got to overcome on Monday, that's for sure. Yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting game. And... Um... You know, the uh, penultimate question before we go on to the score prediction is um, where do you feel like both teams will finish this season in the league? I think Burnley anywhere between 11th and 15th. I think they'll be comfortable. There's no doubt about that. I don't think there'll be any worries at the, at the bottom end of the table. I didn't think... There was, last year when people were saying this is the year Burnley will go, I never believed it. I think Sean Dyche is too... <laughs> too uh, experienced, I think Burnley are too well organised to have been dragged into that battle. But I think this year they'll be slightly better. But I think the thing with the league is, it's really, it's a real tough league to mm. to finish high nowadays because so many teams have spent so much money. I think the top four for me will be the same as last season. Uh, I think fifth and sixth will probably be on paper between Leicester and Tottenham. Because they Leicester have done well the last couple of years, so there's no real evidence why they wouldn't this year. And Spurs, I think Harry Kane's staying was a huge thing for them. But then I put Everton in the bracket with half a dozen teams who could, and in with Spurs, who could finish anywhere between sixth and twelfth. Mm. It just seems like that to me. Like there's a there's a whole bunch of teams that you know Leeds, West Ham, Arsenal, Tottenham, Everton, Aston Villa are all in a battle to get either sixth place and that could run right down to 12th and then I think Burnley are there then in that mix of teams like your Crystal Palace Burnley maybe Brighton um, so I think comfortably mid-table Burnley could listen that doesn't mean they can't finish higher but I just think they'll be comfortably mid-table with no worries at all that's where I see Burnley this year I mean, I would take it. I would not complain. Uh, I feel like putting Arsenal that high is quite <laughs> quite uh, kind to them so far this season. Um, <laughs> but um, we'll get on to the last question. Yeah, no, to be fair, yeah, they do. They they have a good team. I just think they need a new manager. Um, definitely. But um, we'll get on to that when we play Arsenal. Uh, score. What's, uh, what is your score predictions for the Monday night game? 
wanting to upset too many Burnley fans, I am going to go for a home win. I just think Everton at the moment are, are playing with a good style. I think the players are quite confident. I think we've had, with the international break, none of our South American players have gone anywhere. So we're OK with Richarlison. He's not had to travel. Alan, uh, Yeri Mina, James Rodriguez might be back in the squad. Who knows? Um, so I just feel like Everton will... Uh, are on a, in a good place at the moment. And I think with the crowd, I think it'll it'll give us that edge. Uh, it'll be a tough game, like I said before. Uh, but I'm going to go 2-0 to Everton. 2-0. Um, um, I'm going to reverse that. I'm going to go 2-0 Burnley. I feel like, obviously, the last game, I feel like we did very well. I feel like we didn't come away with the result we wanted. The signings, I think, it, it's just, there's a lot of confidence right now at Burnley and surrounding the club and a bit of optimism. So I feel like we... I think we need to get that first win in the season. We can't leave it as late as we did last season. And, um, yeah, I just feel like this Everton game, I don't know, we, 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 we're, we're, we're okay against Everton usually. We're not... Um, it's, it's usually a good challenge, but obviously in recent years, we, we, I think we've done okay. And last season, obviously we beat you 2-1 at Goodison. I'm hoping for sort of the same again, obviously, um, being a Burnley fan. So, yeah, 2-0 two, two is going to be my prediction as well. But um, yeah, apart from that, that is the end um, of the video. Is there, is there anything else you would like to say before you leave? Good luck to Burnley after Saturday, after Monday rather. Not after Saturday, because Monday hasn't happened. Good luck to Burnley for the rest of the season after Monday night, of course. Um, if you just let us have those three points, you can go on your win and run <laughs> after that. Um, I'll be quite happy with that. I'll be quite happy with that. So I played for Burnley's youth team years ago, so I've got a, I've got a lot of a, a lot a of time soft spot, for Burnley. Soft spot. Yeah, nice. I've got a big soft spot for Burnley, but I won't have one until about ten past ten on Monday night. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> well, um, yeah, good luck to you. Obviously, the rest of the season, you've got a very talented manager, a very talented group of uh, players there. Uh, obviously, just obviously don't bring that talent on Monday. That'll be perfect for us. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for being on the channel. We really appreciate it. Go subscribe to Toffees TV. Link will be in the description. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Also, before we go, just a quick little video. Change of clothes and everything. Um, I asked Ollie Ball, uh, if you don't know who Ollie Ball is, he's a huge TikToker, uh, now a big influencer. Uh, I asked Ollie Ball, because he's an Everton fan, what he thought the score prediction was going to be on the Monday night game. And he said 6-0 Everton. Fuck you, Ollie Ball.